Hey everyone, so today I wanted to quickly share with you all how to cover a chair seat. Super easy project. This is a great project for those of you who are wanting to do something in your house as a DIY project uh, to kind of change the look of it. We got these chairs from Ryan's grandmother. Uh, I think she bought them like in 1960, so of course the fabric is old and faded and not that cute to look at. So I picked up some fabric at Hancock's, 50% off. Picked some batting up at Walmart and uh, some staples up at Home Depot. So let's get started and I'll show you guys how to transform a not so cute chair into something much more pleasant to look at. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take all of the old cover off. And this has some piping around it, so I'm taking the piping off first and then I'll go through and take all of this off. And I have some pliers here to help pull out some of the stubborn staples. And I had a screwdriver, but it wasn't working too well. So I just grabbed a case knife that I didn't mind beating up a little bit. So I have my case knife and my hammer and basically I'm sticking my knife like that. Hammering this in to pop up any stubborn staples. Okay, so now that we have our uh, seat undone we're just going to cut around the perimeter of our seat this is the raw side uh, so the good sides down and this side is facing up and you're going to leave about I would say three maybe four inches depending on the height of your seat you want to make sure that you're going to have enough space to bring it over okay so you can see that I have cut it all the way around um, there's a little extra hanging off so I might end up cutting some of that off we'll see on the batting which is the same idea as the fabric uh, you want the batting to come right to this edge right here you don't want the batting to come onto the back but you definitely want it to come up to the edge to give it some padding and protection and to cover up some of the roughness where this is kind of messed up a little bit so I'm going to cut that out and then I'll put the fabric underneath here and then we will start putting it together. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and put all this together. You're gonna to use your staple gun and your staples for your staple gun. Here I am using T50s uh, and they're gonna be quarter inch. I tried the 5 sixteenths, but they were too long for this project. Um, it really depends on the thickness of your board and the type of material you're working with. So anyways, I'm going to start by placing one staple in the center here. And then I'm going to pull it nice and tight, but not too tight, and then put another staple in the center straight across from that. Okay, you can see where I put my two staples in, and I do have too much fabric, but that's okay. I don't know that I'll trim it off because it doesn't actually cover up my screw holes, so I may just leave it and staple it down. It's kind of a waste of staples, but eh. It's all right. So basically what I'm gonna do from this point is I am going to staple all the way across to this corner and all the way across to this corner. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, making sure to keep it pulled nice and tight all the way down, staple all the way across, and then we'll come back and go to the next step. So we have the first two sides down, flip it over, take a peek, it looks good. So we're basically gonna do the same thing on the other side over here so then we're going to take this side once in the center turn it around same thing on this side once in the center so we're going to repeat the same step we just did on these two sides and we're going to staple all the way to the corners on both sides but don't do anything with these we're going to leave these hanging out until the very end Okay, so I have it put together all the way around and all the corners are left open. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to pull it in a way towards the center, but you want to keep check at the front as well when you're trying to pull it to the center to make sure it looks good both on the top and at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it down and show you guys what it looks like when I get it stapled on. Thank you, sweetie. And so I'm going to pull it, 
staple it and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so we've got it down and I put several staples in it. And I put several staples in all of the sides as well. So we're gonna go in, finish the other corners, and then you're finished and you can attach it back to your chair. Okay, so that's it. That's all of the corners down, all of the fabric down. So now all we gotta do is put it on our chair. So that's it. That's how you change the fabric on your chairs to bring new life into them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye guys.